Hey guys, welcome to Money Talks. This is the fifth part in our 16 part personality series that covers the various personalities under the Myers-Briggs personality test. The personality we'll be showcasing today is the ISFP, your introverted, sensing, feeling, and perceiving, and it's all about the thought that counts. In the video, we'll be covering the key strengths, weaknesses, key success factors for job satisfaction, as well as the ideal occupations for an ISFP. So let's take a look at the strengths. You're someone that welcomes change and can adapt to new situations. You also work hard when you believe in the work you're doing. You're loyal members of organizations and you're pretty good at taking orders. You also like to work in a warm, positive environment and it really allows you to thrive. From a weaknesses standpoint, you sometimes don't question people's behaviors or their motives or intentions behind the way that they act. You take criticism and negative feedback personally. You sometimes tend to miss opportunities if they're not presented in front of you. And you also have trouble organizing your time and tend to feel restricted by rules. So key job success factors include work that you care deeply about, and seeing the actual results of your work, the opportunity to experience inner growth and development, and you also you know, want to work somewhere where you're not restricted by rules and in flexible work environments. So the types of jobs that would appeal most to an ISFP include a carpenter, a nurse, a painter, a crisis counselor, or even a mechanic. I hope all the ISFPs out there enjoyed the video and you got a little bit more understanding of yourself. If you or a family member wants to take the MBTI test again or take it for the first time, the link is included in below the video in the description section. So thanks for watching guys. Goodbye.